I think the Character Foundation Award Celebration is, uh, is a wonderful way to, uh, to recognize the, uh, the heroes and the, and, and the residents that demonstrate good character. Uh, I think it's it's a ceremony that people can be proud of uh, to be a part of, to be, just to be nominated. It demonstrates that people care about each other and they care about how they do business with each other, how they uh, spend time in the community together. And I think it's something that we all learn from. And there are many, many uh, people that do wonderful things in the community and should be recognized for them. The Town of Richmond Hill is a character community in two different ways. One is a character corporation where we, uh, we promote good character and doing business with each other and our residents and our clients. And another is uh, the care community, one where people care about each other and, uh, and treat each other with respect. And uh, I think that's an important aspect of, uh, of, of a good community is that, in fact, people do uh, you know, treat each other uh, with, with respect and, and, uh, and demonstrate good character in the community. It's something that we certainly learn from our children as they go through the character matters aspect of school level, and it's important that we, we then extend that into the community, whether you're a hockey coach or any kind of a sports coach or, uh, or a scout leader or any community group leader. I think it's helps us realize that uh, character transcends your whole life, and, and uh, to be a good citizen and to be a good student and to be a good member of the community, you have to demonstrate the character. Well, I think from a, from a student's point of view, just understanding uh, what's expected of you in the classroom which, it, which then extends to what's ex expected of you in the rest of your life. And the fact that uh, the character attributes are very, very important uh, attributes to remember, honesty, integrity, uh, perseverance, uh, those type of things are, are an important aspect of, uh, of your life. And uh, those that demonstrate good character and practice those attributes will, will enjoy their lives better and have a better relationship uh, with everyone they meet. Keeping the character message alive in the community is, is uh, it's not difficult, but it takes a lot of work. Uh, my experience in the town of Richmond Hill is that we have uh, introduced the character movement to all of our community groups, whether they're sports groups or, uh, or um, just, as I said, scouts, guides, beavers, brownies, any community group, Lions clubs, Rotary clubs. And I think once you do that, then you have a, a community that's, that is conscious of demonstrating good character. And they're conscious of running organizations with, with the, the good character and using those attributes and, and those attributes become what I call character speak. And once everyone understands what's expected of them and how they should treat others and, and quite frankly how you know, the golden rule of treating others as you would like to be treated, I think everyone understands their role in, in the organization. They understand that it's important to participate in the organization and to be honest with each other. And once that happens, I think the organizations become much, much, much more vibrant. A character community means different things to different people, and that's a good thing. Because we all have a different sense of what character means and how I can demonstrate character in, in what I do in the community. And I think you find that you do have communities, as, as described. Uh, the definition of a character community is one where the, the neighborhoods are safe and education is effective, businesses prosper, and uh, neighbors know and respect each other, and I think that we all want to